Hi guys, so we have just got to Heathrow Terminal 2 and we are getting ready to go on the plane. First plane is like 13 hours or something ridiculous like that. So it's gonna be very long, uh, but we're very excited. And uh, to be honest, I'm ready for this. I just cannot wait to get on a beat. So enough blabbling, let's get on the plane and let's get to Bali. <laughs> So we have just arrived in um, Malaysia. I am whispering because um, I, it's very early in the morning. Uh, Sarah and I have got our Starbucks. No, Sarara. Sarara and Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. We have our Starbucks. I am currently trying a praline mocha. However, you say praline, I say praline, but other people say praline. I don't know. And um, that is where we are at. We've got another three slash four hour flight, and then we should be arriving in Bali. So yay! <laughs> So it is currently um, 10 to 11 at night. Um, Sarah and I have arrived in Bali and um, <laughs> we had a 40 minute taxi drive with loads of traffic. There's so many motorbikes and the roads are literally tiny. Like I can't, I can't believe how small they are. Um, we literally got in. I will insert a room tour because it's bloody gorgeous the place that we're staying and i 10 out of 10 recommend however i did just look and they are fully booked until next april so i don't know how we got it because we didn't even book that long ago i know we were just lucky and we we have the best room like 10 yeah. out of 10 we have the best room there's nine rooms it's called hotel stages um it's literally gorgeous everything a min minimalistic person dreams of is in this mm. is in this room um, so we are currently very hungry, um, and the hotel is just a hotel. It doesn't have food or anything. And right now don't really feel safe enough to go out at this time right now with where we are, just cause we are sort of like in yeah, the main center. Streets. Yeah. And I don't, I don't feel comfortable enough walking around yet. Like I need to get to know it in the daytime. Um, so we watched Anna Paul's like video and we're now trying to order some food. There's like so much stuff though. And these are all like the 24 hour places as well. And there's just so much. And it's this whole debate of do we risk it? Do we get chicken? Because we haven't had our barley belly tablets yet. And we're picking them up tomorrow because we got, we got to the hotel. We were here by like two, half two. And we got into our room, and by three o'clock, we'd passed out. Next thing you know, it's <laughs> half past eight. We'd slept for five and, we, and a we half hours. So, we were like, yeah, we can't sleep until tonight. Otherwise, we won't sleep in the night. Yeah, we were, we're so adamant. We were so adamant not to sleep. And, <laughs> and then it fucking started, excuse my French, it literally started chucking it down. Oh, my God, look at this pork hub. I look thought you said pork hub. <laughs> look at the logo. It's like, literally. <laughs> what the hell is that? Sorry. Um, so, anyway, it's like chucking it down. It's like lightning. It literally was going crazy. So, we fell asleep um, for five and a half hours. We obviously needed it, but I just hope we can sleep tonight. But, you know, the jet lag and the time difference is going to be quite difficult. So, anyway, we will... Get some food in my belly and then we'll sleep. Or we will update you with what food we get and how well that goes down. So yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys. So today um, is our first proper day in the hotel. It is currently quarter past nine. As you can hear, I'm quite bunged up, um, but that is just from the plain air, unfortunately. The tan's looking good, and Sarah and I are just getting ready in our bikinis to go down and um, 
do some sunbathing and also try and get some content. But look at this view. How gorgeous. I'll continue to vlog and uh, keep you updated on what else we do. Hi guys, um, Sarah is asleep. It is currently 1am. Um, just a little update. I've been really bad at filming today. Majority of the day was just content and then we got ready and we went to Finn's Beach Club. I'll insert a few clips and pics. Um, we had a great time and to be honest all we did was sort of eat food and just meet some people which was great. So today was just a really chill day just to get content and um, also then just have a sort of chill night and get some food from a nice place. Tomorrow is going to be a really good day. We actually have to be up at half five to be picked up at six for a yoga and temple retreat. So um, I'm only going to get four and a half hours sleep. Uh, we'll probably have a nap tomorrow. But yes, I will update you about it all tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is currently 10 to 7 in the morning. Sarah and I are in our taxi um, on our way. Uh, the sunrise is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. It literally has just come up. And we are on our way to our yoga and temple retreat today, which we are very excited about. So um, we'll keep you updated. So we have just arrived at the um, temple. We're going to get our blessing. Are you ready to be blessed? She's a bit hungover. I need to, I need to be blessed. <laughs> you need some Jesus in your life. So we'll get a sarong and we're going to get blessed. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be great fun. And also I tried to stroke a doggy. There's lots of stray dogs here. I got a little video of it, yeah, so include it. But they, um, they're a bit nervous. Can't believe how many stray dogs there are, but yes. So we went into the house, met the gorgeous kitty called Lucky, who's one month old, gave her lots of love. We then got into our outfits before going to the temples. We had so much information about the culture, the background, the religion. It was honestly the most interesting day that we've had and we just felt so refreshed. We then went into this amazing hotel where we did a spa. We had a little chill before having this amazing three course meal, which was vegan and I actually loved it and I'm a meat eater ended up chucking it down which was so relaxing to listen to while we did the yoga everything will be linked below i definitely recommend because it was amazing hi guys so it is currently the end of the day and we've had literally the most amazing day if you haven't seen already and look at the food that's just arrived we are so excited um this is a little bit more expensive but this is probably like the best looking food i think that we've had the whole time um, we had a really good lunch today, but th there was no meat involved, so we are absolutely gagging for a little bit of meat. <laughs> um, I still don't know what's going on with my voice. I just, yeah, it's definitely not COVID, but it's just like I'm run down and I'm coughing a lot. So we're trying to currently plan for the Gilly Islands. We go to our new um, hotel tomorrow um, and we are very excited. We're going to try and look around the town a little bit more now that we've settled in and like we've done a few bits and bobs. Just chill a bit more, but also have a look, grab some snacks, go to some restaurants, eat out, you know, all of that stuff. But yeah, so that's that. Good morning, guys. So we slept a lot last night. It is currently nearly nine o'clock. Um, Sarah and I have got up because it is our last day in Hotel Sages today. So we want to get some last bits of content. This is today's outfit. Um, so we're going to try and get some content with like inside the villa and more shaded areas before we go. Then we're going to pack and go to the new villa. So I'll vlog everything, give you a nice little tour and we will see you soon. So we have just arrived at the first villa. 
Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. So lovely. Oh, you know, little flu. Oh, baby. So we have just left and we're going to go have a little walk around the area, sort of get to know. I say we're about a 20 minute walk from the beach, so we might have a little gander down there. But we're just going to have a walk and see what it's saying. It's very warm today, um, a lot warmer than it has been previously. Um, so we just need to be careful not to burn. But yes, lotion up, ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> doing a full day out in a bud. We've got loads of bits planned. We went out last night, if you can hear my voice. Somehow Sarah is still okay. I am not. It's because I said no to the tequila. <laughs> and I'm thankful that Chuck Sarah said no to the tequila. So um, we didn't sleep until like 3 a.m. last night. We had a good night, I wouldn't say. Yeah, we did go to bed really late. Didn't we? We had a good night, we enjoyed ourselves, however, I definitely think the night that we went out in two Finns, nights ago yeah. in Finns, we actually preferred. The music at this place was just a little bit weird. Very techno. Very techno. No lyrics, like, couldn't really dance to it, you just had two sets. Just like, doot, 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 doot. Yeah, I don't know if I can dance with that. That's the place I'm on about, Maya Bay. Oh, that looks nice. I think we should go there at some point. Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, side note. So the plan for today is we are going into a bird. We're going to be doing the waterfalls. We're going to be doing um, the coffee plantation, the monkey forest, look around a local market, grab some food, rice fields. Rice fields. Um, and we are going to ask the guy if we can maybe do the swing as well. So we've got a really jam-packed day and I will be taking you along with me. So yes. So we started with the waterfall. Now this was literally so gorgeous and there were so many beautiful little spots on the way down where you get photos with the waterfall in the background. It was literally the most Instagrammable thing I think I've ever seen. But also just beautiful within its nature. We then stopped, got some corn on the cob, which mm. I have to admit was the nicest corn on the cob I think I've ever had. And I think it cost us not even 50p to buy. Sarah and I very much enjoyed it. We then went to this really weird thing, which basically is where this animal here, don't know what it is, eats coffee beans, poos it out. They then make it and season it into coffee and tea and hot chocolate. And I'm not even kidding. It was actually so nice. And the process of them making it was really, really interesting. How nice is that? Mm. So Sarah actually ended up buying a few bits of coffee to take home. It was really sweet, but Balinese people are known for really sweet drinks. Sarah, look at the drink. Anyway, we went to the monkey forest. Now, this was so funny. Sarah and I were laughing the whole time. I mean, the amount of monkey balls we had on our legs was literally so many. But it was also gorgeous, and I absolutely loved the animals. We stopped for photos at the swings, and I'm not going to lie, it was good, but I probably wouldn't recommend. Then we went for dinner. Good morning guys, so it is currently 11, half 11 in the morning. Sarah and I are sunbathing at our new villa, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is very, very warm here today. It is currently um, 31 degrees, but with humidity, it's feeling about 37 or 38. So we are just getting our tan on and making sure to get dark. Um, so today's a very chill day for us. We had a really busy day yesterday, so I think we're gonna sunbathe all day. I think we're gonna go get lunch in a minute, um, have a little walk about, come back, tan a bit more, maybe even pop to the beach, and then just go out tonight. Um, but yeah, nothing much to update you on, just absolutely enjoying the sun. And we slept like absolute rocks yesterday because we had such a busy day. So yes, just taking up, soaking up the sun, soaking up the scenery, and we are all good to go. Thank you. 